Okay, in today's video, we're going to be replacing speakers in a Jeep Wrangler TJ. This is a 2000 model Jeep Wrangler, and you can see we're replacing it with, uh, we're actually going to do some kicker speakers, five and a quarter for the sound bar on the uh, roll bar, and then we're going to use some four by sixes for the front of the car. So these are the stock speakers that you need to go back with if you don't want to make any huge modifications. One of the things you are going to need is these brackets. Uh, I'll take them out of the package and I'll show you exactly why you're going to want those brackets. I'm going to have links to all this stuff in the description of the video. So if you want to buy these things, I got them off Amazon. I'll have a link exactly to that. Now to make less wire cutting in uh, the installation of these speakers, I went ahead and I also bought some of the uh, connectors that will interface with the factory connectors. And, and I'll show you how that's going to work. These were not that expensive. I want to say they might have been eight dollars for two so sixteen dollars for both of those i think this was around ten or eleven dollars i don't remember but i'll link all of that like i said so i'm going to go through doing that right now and i'll show you uh how easy this can be all right so when you come into the car you can see here's our steering wheel right here the uh four by six speakers are actually mounted behind this what we need to do is take two screws out here on the side and then the whole thing pulls out. If you can't get it to pull out, then you want to just stick a screwdriver in here uh, about like this and just kind of pop it loose. There's usually like a little thing to pop loose right here on the top and there's one on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take these screws out right now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, now that the screws are out, you should just be able to pop this front off. I'm just going to go right in here from the top and the bottom. And you can see it just comes right off. This is actually what I'm referring to. If you look, there's a little tab right there on the top and the bottom. And they just basically go into these two holes right here. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and take out the two top screws and the two bottom screws and the whole speaker will come out and then we're going to disconnect it. Okay, with all the screws out, you can see our speaker just completely comes out. And we have a connection on the back. And what we need to do, you can see right here, uh, basically that just needs to go up. Once you pull that little tab up right there, the whole thing should pull out. <clears throat> you can see that's how the connector is. Okay, this is our 4x6 speaker, and you can see that uh, it's definitely not going to fit. Oh, don't you love a magnet? It's definitely not going to fit in the same place, because if I put this upside down on this, you can see that... Um, I don't have these mounts on the top. So that's why you really have to buy this, this little kit here to go around your speaker and then your speaker now fits. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Basically it's as easy as installing screws um, into the speaker, from the speaker into the plastic. So I'm gonna go do that right now and then we'll have our shape. Here's our finished product after we put the screws in. You can see I just used the, uh, these screws were provided in the kit. I just put four of them right there and now we have a really good fit in the same place. Okay, so the next thing I'm opening is that connector I talked about. You can see this connector is gonna fit right into the connector here. Hard to do this with one hand, but it's gonna slide into there. The other side is gonna go to the back of the speaker right there so i'm gonna go ahead and connect those right now and i'll show you how that looks all connected all right this method really dummy proofs everything for you because you can see here this is bigger than the one on the other side so there's only one big one that goes on the big side one little one goes on the little side and then of course you connect that into there so now the only thing left to do is to fold this in here and uh, put in our screws. I didn't say this on the other side, but I figured I'd mention it here. It did come with, the speaker did come with its own set of wires. And if you want to cut this connector off right here and splice in your own wire, feel free to do so. I'm not going to do that because I, I want to keep the factory connections in there. But one of the things that you can notice, uh, according to my connection here, is you can see there's like a greenish blue wire right there. That gets connected to the white, which in this case is the really big connector. So just make sure that on this connection that you have, the one that is not a green wire gets connected to this one with the stripe. So the one without the stripe is the one that gets connected to the green wire, in case you want to splice it on your own. Okay, so you can see these speakers in the back. This is the back sound bar. It's actually seen 
better days. That's the speaker cover right there. But there's four screw holes, and I'm gonna show you. I've already taken off one side. It looks like this. You can see there's four screws right there. And what you do is you just basically maneuver it out of the hole. It was up in there like this. You maneuver it out of the hole, and you can see there's our same connector. So we're gonna pull that little tab forward right here. This little tab right here, pull forward and pull it up and out. And then this speaker will be disconnected and we're gonna put our new speaker in place. Here's our brand new kicker five and a quarter speaker. And um, I don't know if you could tell, but the screw holes pretty much do line up. You can see here's the old cover. If I put it over it, um, they will line up. And I could use this cover, but it came with its own cover that I really like a lot better. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. The only thing I don't like about this is I don't like how you can touch that because I know a lot of people like to touch that and uh, smash them in. Uh, but I like this cover a lot better and we don't have any little kids in this car so I think we're gonna be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect the back. Um, if you remember, we have our connection. So we're gonna connect our, our little uh, adapter to that and then I'm gonna plug it into the ceiling where we just unplugged the other one. All right, so you can see we've connected our connector. That's connected to the speaker right there. And then up in the ceiling, we've gone ahead and connected that. Uh, like I said before, if you wanna splice your own wires, feel free to do so. This is a lot simpler way to do it. In the set of speakers I got, it actually came with a brand new replacement screw, uh, four of them for each speaker. So when I put this back into the sound bar, or you know, on the roll bar here, I'm gonna use these brand new ones and I'm just gonna get rid of the rusty ones. All right, here's the finished product in the sound bar. You can see that one looks like that. And if we go over to the other side, that one looks like that. The one thing I do wanna mention if you're doing this, make sure that if you have an emblem that they're in the right direction. I mean, if I wasn't paying attention, I could have one of them up here and one of them over here or in the back. I made sure that both of them are at the very bottom. All right, just so you can hear what it sounds like after everything's installed, you can see we have an old tape deck that needs to be replaced. I'm gonna play something off YouTube so we don't get a copyright strike, but uh, here we go. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Way better than stop. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, please uh, give us a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe. Check out our other videos. Thanks.